Hey guys, this is Raghav Nakra and today we are going to do the question search in biotonic array which is a part of binary search section of interview bit. So let's just first read the problem statement. So what the problem statement says is that we will be given a biotonic sequence of n distinct elements. It is very important to note that all the elements will be distinct here and we what we want to do is we want to find a given element b. And we have to tell whether this element is present in the biotonic sequence or not. And we have to do the whole process in just O of log n time. And what a biotonic sequence is? It is a sequence in which all the numbers are first inc strictly increasing and then after a point it is strictly decreasing. That is first they will increase and then they will decrease making a hill shape of structure if we plot them on a graph. Uh, so let's just look at the constraints elements will there could be 10 to the power 5 elements also b could be 10 to the power 8 so we don't need to take long long here also it is given that it there will always be a biotonic point in the array that is there will always be a point in between such that all the elements still that point will be increasing and after that point they will be strictly decreasing. Also it is important to note that all the elements will be distinct in the array. So let's just look at the examples and to clearly understand the problem statement. So very first example is 3, 9, 10, 20, 17, 5 and 1. So as you can see that elements are strictly increasing till the point 3 to 29 that is from index 0, 1, 2 and 3 all the elements are increasing till the point 3 and after that they are strictly decreasing 17 5 and 1 you can see that they are strictly decreasing also we can see that all the elements are distinct here and if we want to five find an element 20 then we can clearly see that it is present at the index 3 considering a zero based indexing in this very second example the elements are 5 6 7 8 9 10 3 2 and 1 so we can see that all the elements are increasing till the point 10 and after that point they are strictly decreasing and we want to find the element 30 but the element 30 is not present in this array so we will return a minus 1. Also the explanation is given here and we can clearly see that explanation suffices with what I have just said. So now let's just look at the solution. For the solution we can visualize all of these points plotted on a xy axis and we can visualize it as a hill kind of structure where all the points are increasing till a certain index and after that they are strictly decreasing. We can call this very point where the decreasing sequence starts after this point we can call this point as bitonic point. So the significance of this biotonic point is all the elements before this point and also including this point will be in strictly increasing order and after this very point all the elements will be in strictly decreasing order. So what we can say is if we have an array and we have located our biotonic point let's say it is here so we can say that all the elements of the array including this point from the very starting point will be in increasing order. And after this point till the very end will be in decreasing order. So now we can simply apply a binary search to find the value in either this half of the array or this half of the array because we certainly know that either this half or this half is definitely sorted and we can find the elements in either of the part in just log n time using binary search because they are sorted. Now our only task left is to find this biotonic point and this biotonic point could also be found in just log n time and let's see how we can do that. So now in order to find the biotonic point what we can see is this biotonic point has a certain property and what the property is that it is greater than both the elements which is on its right and left. So now let's say we do a binary search and we are currently on this index and this is our mid. So what we can see is if this element is greater than both its element on left and right we can certainly say that this is the biotonic point which we are looking for and hence we can stop our binary search right there. But what if it is not the biotonic point? 
सो इफ इट इज नॉट द बाइटॉनिक पॉइंट इधर द लेफ्ट और द राइट वुड बी ग्रेटर दैन दिस करेंट एलिमेंट एज यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द बाइटॉनिक पॉइंट एंड इट इज ग्रेटर दैन बोथ ऑफ इट्स एलिमेंट यू कैन क्लियरली सी इफ वी आर ऑन दिस पॉइंट ऑन दिस साइड ऑफ द बाइटॉनिक एरे वी वुड डेफिनेटली मूव टूवर्ड्स एन एलिमेंट विच हैज अ ग्रेटर वैल्यू दैन एस इफ वी आर ऑन दिस इंडेक्स वी विल मूव टूवर्ड्स द राइट एंड इफ वी आर ऑन दिस इंडेक्स वी विल मूव टूवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट वी आर बेसिकली मूविंग टू अ प्लेस विच हैव अ ग्रेटर वैल्यू दैन एस बिकॉज वी फॉर श्योर नो इफ वी आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द ग्रेटर एलिमेंट फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ द साइड वील डेफिनेटली रीच टूवर्ड्स द एलिमेंट विच इज अ बायटॉनिक पॉइंट सो दैट आफ्टर लोकेटिंग द बायटॉनिक पॉइंट वी कैन सिंपली फाइंड द एलिमेंट इन लॉग इन टाइम ऑन ईच ऑफ दिस साइड एंड वी आर फाइंडिंग द बायटॉनिक पॉइंट यूजिंग बाइनरी सर्च ओनली विच विल अगेन टेक लॉग एन ऑफ टाइम सो अगेन आई ट्रेटिंग वॉट वी विल डू इज लेट से वी आर ऑन अ एलिमेंट using binary search and this is our middle index and we see that whether both the elements on its left and right are, are smaller than it or not and if they are not th this means that this is not a bitonic point and then we'll move towards the element having a greater value let's say we are on this point again doing a binary search we'll move towards a point which has a greater value because you can see moving towards the index which has greater value will definitely take us to the bitonic point itself and if once we reach the bitonic point we can simply find our required element in just log in time and finding the bitonic point using binary search will again take us log in time so the time complexity of our solution would be o of log in to find the bitonic point and again another log in to find rather o of 2 log in to find whether the current element is present in our left or right side of the bitonic point or not that is either in this half which i am right now marking or this half and both these cases will take log n time so the operation would be two times log n but in time in terms of asymptotic complexity it would just turn out to be log n only and hence our total time complexity of the solution would be just log n and the space complexity of this is o of 1 because we are not taking any extra space and we are doing it in place of the provided array only so now let's just move to our code and see how we can do it easily in our coding part so for the code what i did was we were given a solve function in which we were provided with an array and the element b which we need to find Firstly, I stored n as the size of array, and then I I have put start and end, which is used for the binary search. And this is the simple procedure of binary search which I have followed, where I have firstly taken mid, and mid I have taken using start minus in bracket start minus end end whole divided by two. This is a very nice procedure to follow in binary search cases because there can be certain time, there can be certain instances where we might get an integer flow just by doing start plus end by two. So, in order to be safe, this is a good practice to follow in almost all binary search problem. Here, since n was just 10 to the power 5, we won't have any issue. But in general case, we should follow this process. Now, what I did was I took two variables, two left and two right, where I will be storing the values of the element which is present just to the left of my current index and the value of element which is present to just right of my current index. What I did was uh, I firstly check whether there is a element present to the very left of me in the array or not this is done by checking whether mid minus 1 is a valid index for my array or not similarly i what i did was to check for an element which is to the right of me i checked whether mid plus 1 is a valid index in my current array or not this is done by mid plus if mid plus 1 is still less than n i'll take the value array of mid plus 1 otherwise i'll take an integer minimum similarly if mid minus 1 is greater than equal to 0 this means this is a valid index then i'll take the value array of mid minus 1 and 
अदरवाइज आई टेक इन टीचर मिनिमम दिस इज द लीस्ट वैल्यू विच आई कैन पॉसिबली हैव दिस केस कुड बी अंडरस्टूड लाइक दिस If we have an array which is strictly increasing, we can call this this array as biotonic two because we have a strictly increasing array and very last element of this would be the biotonic point. And why this would be biotonic? Because it would be greater than the element on its left and element on its right. Since there is no element, we would consider minus infinity or int minimum just to. consider a normal case we'll consider any value which is so small that it is not present in our array so we'll consider a minus infinity on our right and if we take a strictly decreasing array our very first element of the array would be the biotonic point because on the left we would have minus infinity and on the right we would have a smaller element than the current present element so now if we have a element to the left we'll take the value present on the left otherwise we will take minus infinity or integer minimum and similarly for the right if we have a element present in our array we will take that element otherwise we will take minus infinity now we will check if our current value is greater than both the elements on the left and right and if it is so this would be our biotonic element and we will stop the binary search right here if this is not the case we'll check if element on the left is greater than us if it is then we'll take our binary search to a smaller area that is to the left of it and search a biotonic bi point on our left side if this is not the case we'll search for the biotonic point towards our right so now what we are doing is we are finding whether we have an element on the left side of the biotonic point in our array or not we are giving a range of 0 to answer in our binary search function which i'll just show in a moment and we are looking whether we have b present in that array or not if the value is minus 1 that is we have not found any any instance of this value b in our array then we'll look for the element in the right side otherwise we'll return the value if the value would be minus 1 in the right side also minus 1 would be returned otherwise if the index is found then that index would be returned by this function solve so now considering this binary search function we are sending a start and end in the array and what we are doing is we are sending the element b which we need to find now we are taking n to be the size which is Uh, just a normal thing and we are storing end in the variable val we'll sh we'll see why we are doing this so now this is again the normal binary search procedure in which the mid is taken using start plus end by 2 and now what we are doing is we are seeing that whether our current element is equal to b and if it is so we'll return this this index itself otherwise we are seeing that if value is double equal to my n minus 1 or not we have stored end to be the value and why we are doing so if our value is double equal to n minus 1 this means that we are on the side which is to the right of biotonic point what i mean by this is if we look at this we are on the right side of the biotonic point on this half of the array and here our end would be n minus n minus 1 at any instance you can see that if our end is n minus 1 we would be on the right side of the array and by by doing this what we can see is if we are on the right side we are for sure that the array would be strictly decreasing and if it is the case we have to do binary search in other way and if it is not that is if the end is not minus 1 then it would be strictly increasing and hence we will do a binary search in a, a slightly different way so just in order to combine both of these things i have maintained just single function and what i did was if value is n minus 1 that is we are on the right side we'll do a binary search according to the decreasing array otherwise we'll do a binary search according to an increasing array in which we just have a slight change of greater than or less than sign in the whole procedure 
and if we have found our element we would have returned this the index from this part itself and if we have completed our while loop and we still haven't found an index or we haven't returned from our function we will return a minus one which means we have not found any element which has a value b so this was all for the question search in biotonic array and it is a classical problem of binary search which teaches us a lot of applications of binary search in just one problem and it also teaches us how to break down a problem and convert it into a much smaller time complexity than it would normally take us so anytime we find that we could break down a problem such that our array becomes sorted or the values given to us can be can be in a sorted order it is very beneficial to us and a method like binary search should always come in our mind 